Today, we'll be discussing issues pertaining to business ideas. So we're looking at to say there are so many business ideas out there which if a person can go into, there's no limited knowledge. You can go into any kind of business. There's no limitation on what kind of business you can go into. But what is important for us to appreciate is to say, do you understand the business that you want to go into? Do we have any business idea, for example? Yeah. So you need to look at to say, do you have any business idea? How good in your understanding of that kind of business that you want to go into? So we'll have a number of sessions, maybe four or five, where we'll be looking at different business ideas that we can be able to go into as a person, for example. Yeah. So it does it doesn't matter whether you're employed or you're not employed, you want to be a school dropout, you might be have left college, or you might have just finished your secondary school, but you have made a decision to go into business, or you're employed, but you have made a decision, or you have just retired, or maybe you have just lost a job, so you want to go into business. So what is it that, what are the key ingredients that you should be able to take into account before you make a decision to go into that particular business. One is to understand the business that you want to go into. Are you really knowledgeable of the business that you are? Are you not going to be relying on other people for you to run the business? If it's a restaurant, for example, do you have the knowledge of how restaurants tend to operate, for example? Do you understand the different type of foods? Do you understand the raw materials that are needed in such kind of a business? Maybe you're in production. Do you understand the kind of raw materials? Where are you going to get those kind of raw materials? Are those raw materials available throughout the season? What should you do to cover in times where the raw materials are scarce? What should you do as a businessman, for example? Yeah. So you'll be looking at it holistically. All the, those issues to say, where do I get my materials? Do you have the processing machines for your business, for example, to process whatever you want to process? Do you have alternative sources of power, for example? You might be a restaurant, yeah, so you're using electricity. You might, <laughs> power can go off. So do you have alternative, alternatives? Do you have the employees who are knowledgeable in the business? Do you have people who can be able to support you in the business where are you going to get the finances what do we should be able to mind mind is to say in a new business it's not always important for you it's not always good for you to borrow money for new businesses startups if you borrow money maybe from banks from microfinance companies might not be a good idea because sometimes you might be oh, you are you are renting you are renting the shop you want to operate from you are renting the house that you are staying in. You have kids who you want to pay school fees. So you find that you are also borrowing. And every month, or depending on what you have agreed with the lender, you might need to also to pay them. So you might find whatever you are selling is not enough. Because as a startup, you don't have the customers, number one. You might assume maybe you're moving from another company. Maybe you are used to... Uh, come, certain, you're working for a certain company and uh, you're taking advantage that those customers will follow you. It's not automatic. It's not automatic. When you have left, that's their brand and you need to form your brand and uh, you need to convince people to say you are better than the brand that you have left. So that's what is very, very important. Well, I've seen people starting a business, but also off, they're also back searching for jobs. It happens. A lot of people are in business but they are still employed and they are failing to leave for more employment because of uncertainty of businesses. So these are some of the things that you should be able to, but are you knowledgeable in that particular business that you want to op- run as a person? So that's what is very, very key. At the same time, the source of income for the business is also very, very important. Maybe it's your parents who are giving you, your brother, your sister, your uncle, whatever. Then you need to have a matter of a financial plan to say in terms of the financial prudence, in terms of the expenses, how are you going to incur some of the expenses, how can you control expenses as a startup, for example. Yeah. So I think what is important for us to appreciate is to say you can only borrow for growth. Borrow to grow your business. But also sometimes you want to borrow, you want to borrow and you find that in 
things haven't gone the way you had planned. You want to grow, but things haven't gone the way you had planned. And I think every day you see newspapers, um, lending institutions advertising for sale of properties. Could be houses, could be cars and all that. Yeah, Offices, warehouses and all that. Because the people failed to service their loans. Because business is not easy. You might have taken money, you might have gotten money from the, the lending institutions and you are failing to pay. So, for example, you get 30 million. They ask you to say you should be paying 500,000 per month. For, I'm just giving an, an example to say you should be paying 500,000 per month. Are you going to sustain that? Are you going to pay rent for where you are operating the business from? You rent for your house, assuming you don't have a house. Then school fees for your kids. Then you also should pay the five hundred thousand for I think repayment to the loan. So you find this so it's not easy for you even to get customers who can do you can make sales worth maybe four million, five million. Yeah, because this for five hundred thousand, this cost for rent you should be getting from your profit and not from your capital. That's how business works. Otherwise, you'll be eating your capital. So what is important for us to appreciate is to say, it's always important not to borrow for startup businesses. And at the same time, we should also be mindful of the fact to say, do we have the knowledge where are you going to order the items, for example? So could be the items you're ordering from South Africa, you're ordering from Tanzania, from Kenya. Don't just depend on another person to say this person knows better. Because sometimes you might find to say someone you have bought the items on the same you might think you're buying them on the same price from the supplier who is very supplying to you, but others might be getting a discount because of the good relationship that they have created with their previous supplier. So they might be giving you a different price. While another person is being given also a different price. Even sometimes it depends on the volume that you are buying compared to another person. Yeah, The other person is buying in bulk. So you find that you are really selling at the same price. But yourself, you are not making a huge profit. The other person is making a huge profit. Profit. Even for him, you can be able to make a discount, for example, or you can run a promotion. But for yourself, you are not running a promotion because you have ordered at a higher price. So these are some of the things that you should also be mindful when you go on to go into business. So we'll, be, we'll discuss, in this session, we'll discuss in a few businesses which you can be able to venture into. Yeah? For argument's sake, you want to start up with hardware. Yeah? With hardware, maybe you're selling spare parts of motor vehicles, yeah, you're selling spare parts of motor vehicles or any other spare parts for machines, oils, nails, among other things. So you should be able to ask yourself, do you have the knowledge, for example? Cement, could be cement. Hardware, the way you know hardware, holes, panga knives, sequels, among other things. Yeah, but now the, I, the the issue I'm asking yourself, or you need to ask yourself, welding laws, you can be saying welding laws, cutting D6 and among other things. Yeah, iron sheets. But the point I'm trying to drive at do you know the different parts of food? If you are selling more parts for motor vehicles, do you have the knowledge of the different motor vehicles? Are you interested in cars, for example? Yeah. So, like myself, I might not be, I cannot run a business of hardware which is selling the spare parts. Maybe I can go to hardware which is focusing on construction, for example. Yeah. So, because in construction, I might have an idea. Yeah. I know you might need an iron, you might need the four square tubes, what kind of iron sheets there are, gauges, yeah, 28 gauge, the two gauge, yeah, by the IBRs, corrugated, and all this. So, you have that kind of uh, knowledge, the nails. What are products are needed? Um, maybe uh, these are iron sheet nails, these are wood nails, and all that. So you have an idea of you should have an idea 
of who, what kind of business you want to venture into. So, for example, you want to do a business of hardware for do with the motor vehicle parts. You should be able to know this vehicle, this motor vehicle parts works better with Toyota. This motor vehicle works better with the Ford. This one's Chevrolet. This one's are good in the kind of, but also this kind of um, spare part are compatible, can be used by this kind of oil filters or injectors. All those things, you should be able to understand them. You should be like, you are now the mechanic. So you know and which items are commonly needed by mechanics or garages when a person is to service a motor vehicle. Whether it's a Verisa, what is it that he needs when he has to do the service? What kind of oil, engine oil? What kind of some other things like pistols? What kind of pistols does he, the person would require? So you should be looking at to understand the kind of business that you want to go into. If you are going to hardware, understand first. You should be able to understand the motor vehicles, the kind of paint that are used by motor vehicles. So you should be able to appreciate those. And you can go into painting, yeah? Hardware related to paint, but you should be able to understand the paints. For me to come up with this color, what colors can I mix? Oh, you can have someone who is very knowledgeable in that particular area, as long as it's very trustworthy, because sometimes I can lie to you. And also to appreciate which ones are complements, things which tend to go together. Yeah, you might have tires. Maybe you need to have also the magrams, for example. Yeah. So these are some of the things you should be able to appreciate. And which kind of tires can I buy? Because not all tires are good. Some are not good. So you should be able to understand the different types of tires and also the sizes. Which sizes tend to run fast? For which kind of? motor vehicles you find you're buying all for trucks or for lorries and you find you're not making sales you are there for two months three months four five months yeah so these are some of the important things we should be able to appreciate what are the substitutes if this one is not available what kind of spare part can i give this particular person if this what kind of oil is not available what kind of oil can i give this particular person because even the oil can have different Prices. Even the tires can have different prices, but should be able to meet the different types of uh, people. Yeah, could be the ones who are uh, average, upper scale, the bourgeois, yeah, those top class people, middle class people, or lower class people. So you should be able to look at those those things to say how are you going to meet the needs of those different. So the tires could have. Or the different ranges, even with different prices. But in your location, do you need to keep all those tires? Or maybe you might need to focus on one type of tire. So these are some of the things that you should be able to appreciate. Even the location. Where where is the location? Is it somewhere where people can be able to trace it without the difficulties? You might sometimes you might have a location which is not very conducive to people to reach to reach, but maybe you might increase your social media visibility so people will be able to know you. People will come to you because they know you, they know the products, or you bring to them. So you might have to start maybe deliveries to deliver to them. So location is also very very pricing, yeah. Compare with the other people, how much are they selling? Yeah, you have ordered so ordering becomes very very important where you have ordered the items. Because you might order pistols for a car to find another the same brand is selling at a cheaper price and you are like those are not <laughs> very strong. But you find the same brand. Even country of manufacturing is the same. The same company that manufactured the pistols. But you find you are different, charging different because you ordered at a higher price. So that's very, very, for you to succeed, you should be able to understand 
is this a fair price? Because the moment you know the product, you're able to know the price, even you're able to estimate how much. So you can do your sampling within the area or where the business is or within the city, for example, to say how much people are selling this kind of products. What is also important in hardware is also if in any business, so the pricing, the location, the strength of the items, stock taking, yeah, you should be able to do stock taking. Maybe you have left with someone to learn for you, you should be able to do the stock taking. Receptioning, how do you receive your customers? You should, you should treat customers as kings. Yeah, you should be able to treat customers as kings. The others say customers are always right. Yes, they are the ones who are bringing your money. So if you are to be moved to them, they don't come again. So these are some of the things that you should be able to understand in the hardware business. There is a number of things that you can be able to discuss, but these are some of the critical issues that we are talking about. Understanding the kind of hardware type you want to be into. Is it to do with the paint? Is it to do with the iron sheets? Is it to do cars, spare parts? Is it to do whatever? But you should be able to understand, to say, do I understand this kind of item that I'm trying to sell? in this particular business or in this particular shop and also at the same time you, there's another other business which you can be able to go into we've talked about the hardware you can also be able to business of selling cars could be second hand cars or new cars it's just likewise the hardware you should be able to you say are uh, this second hand or new spare parts so if you understand also the spare parts in terms of new ones and also the second hand, you can be able to buy at a light price because you might buy, for example, a second day spare part which is not working or maybe something that is very expensive and you will not be able to sell such kind of what? An item. So understanding the items is very, very important. So you can also have a car business, for example, selling cars could be second-hand cars, yeah, so you can be buying from companies who are auctioning cars and all that, or you can be buying from other people, and you fix a few issues, and you're able to settle. That's also business. But what is important at the end of the day is for you to understand cars, to say, do I understand the cars? For you to buy a right car, for you to buy a right car. Even if you're buying a new cars, or maybe second-hand cars from Japan, yeah, you should be able to understand cars. Which cars are fast-moving? Which cars are going to sell quickly? Yeah? Which cars are in high demand? Why people don't like this kind of cars? So what kind of target market am I looking for? So these are some of the things which are also very, very important for you to appreciate. Issues of exchange rates. How do, where do I get the exchange rate? Uh, where do I get the forex, for example? Yeah? So these are some of the things that was, even if I'm buying this, uh, this car, a customer will be able to buy this particular item if I, I have charged this price. Will, will they be able to come? So you're able to understand the nitty gritties of the business. Another business which you can be able to do is cosmetics, for example. Yeah, you can be selling cosmetics, but cosmetics you should also be able to understand the kind of cosmetics that you want to sell. Cover the perfumes, the lotions. Or what are the trending lotions? Which lotions are being used by celebrities? Which lotions are you using by high class? Which lotions are used by lower class? All these polishes and all this, you should be able to understand. Soap, the type of soap that you should be able to be available in that kind of shop. Substitutes, compliments. Within the shop, if this one is not here, you should be able to use this. So you should look at the cosmetics to say, do you understand the issues pertaining to cosmetics? That's what is very, very important. What kind of cosmetics are good for men? What kind of cosmetics are good for girls? What kind of cosmetics are good for women? I mean, the men, all that you should be able to, for kids, for example, you should be able to appreciate. And which kind of perfumes people tend to react, people might not be able to buy because when they have used it, people, other people tend to complain. So they're still buying such kind of perfumes. So you should do, what kind of perfumes you should be able to keep within your shop? What kind of things are fast moving? Which brands can I be able to order? Yeah. So you should be able to 
understand and how do you keep record of your customers to say well, they have bought something which are fast moving so when you know this kind of perfume this kind of lotions are fast moving you should be able to stock them so that when a customer comes again you should not be able to have stock run out you might wish to now also appreciate to say maybe perfumes might not be fast moving compared to lotions lotions people tend to use quite often maybe compared to perfumes or perfumes can run out you should be able to understand all those things another business that also want to look at is the maize meal the maize meal is a very good business it all depends but what is important for us to appreciate is where should be the maize meal is it a diesel maize meal or or electrical is it a diesel or electrical we should be able to appreciate that so whether it's you, know, you have a maize meal or maybe you'll be processing lies yeah you can have uh, a milling machine for lies you can have a milling machine for maize and all those things yeah ground nows sharing of maize you can have all those kind of machines which will be able to share the maize the ground nuts and all that so within that kind of setup within your uh maize meal you might also have other machines for rice for ground nuts for sharing of um other things yeah i've talked about the ground nuts the rice maize so do you have those machines these are now you are trying to expand your business for example yeah so you should also be able to do that and be able, and what are the prices i have to be charging yeah that's what is also very very important for you to appreciate how do i get the spare parts if there is a problem so you should also be able to understand the nitty gritties of the maze meeting uh the or the, the meeting machines what do i do if uh, we at least is gone do we have alternatives, for example? Do we have the uh, alternative milling machines? That's also, also very, very important. But the last thing, business that we want to look at is the selling of clothes. Could be second hand or new clothes, or you can have it in the same. So you should be able to understand to say where do people order this kind of second hand. And also at the same time, this second hand should I be using? Uh, should I be selling men's for ladies, for kids? What kind of uh, items should I be keeping? Or should I be keeping duvets, shoes, and all that? So you should be able to make a decision. And sometimes what is also uh, important in uh, second-hand clothes, you shouldn't be ordering things that you like. But you should be observant of your customers. What do your customers want? So depending on what your customers want, you can be able to keep items which your customers want. Also, but also at the same time, you have a target audience. When you are targeting the low class, maybe you have to buy from other people. When they have sold the items, so you are like uh, trying to buy everything from them. Yeah, When they have sold some package. But if you are targeting a certain class of people you might not have to buy those bells and all that but maybe what you may need to do is to buy from other people who have already bought the bells and now you'll be buying pieces quality ones because you have a target audience to get a good shit you need to have a target audience you have a target audience to say i'll be selling this kind of items in my shop so let's do the second hand clothes. But also in the sometimes if you are the new, the new clothes, the kind of jackets, for example, where are you going to buy the jackets? Where are you going to import? Do you have the market? Do you understand your customers? What prices are you going to buy those things for? What brands are trending? Shades. What shades are trending? Which ones are, are fast moving? And you need to know in the, the clothing industry, whether shoes or whatever, you end up having a lot of them within your house without being sold. That's why there are a lot of uh, auctions, yeah, maybe 
they tend to reduce the prices of the kind of merchandise just to ensure that they have cleared off. Otherwise, you'll be having a lot of uh, boxes and boxes of shoes which have not been sold. So today, we have looked at in, about in, uh, five businesses, hardware. We have looked at in the cosmetic shop. We have also looked at the mezzanine. We have looked at the car business, but also at the same time, we have looked at second-hand clothing or the new clothing. So what, what I want to appreciate is to say these are some of the business that we are able to venture into. But what is key in everything is to understand the business because you'll be competing with people who are already knowledgeable in the different businesses that you want to go into. So that's what is very, very important. Till the next session, we'll be looking at other business also. Thank you so much for watching. There are so many business ideas. So it's up to you to choose which ones you want to go into. Thank you so much.